Something that you're not ready for, though. I guarantee you're not ready for this. Because I saw this, and I'm not sure if I'm ready for this shit. Is the Unicorn Wars. That's right. Unicorn Wars, everybody. This is something that... It's it's a head trip when you watch the trailer. It's, nice nice it's, image to pull there, Brian. It, it's so <laughs> it's good. Really <laughs> it's 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 quite it's quite something. So this is, is an animated. Or is that Lappy Taffy? <laughs> uh, this is something candy, throwing something up, but it's an animated epic uh, cinematic <laughs> experience that contrasts cuteness of teddy bears with the horror of war by Alberto Vasquez. This fluffy characters uh, they they fight the unicorns. So I mean, I mean, there's there's blood, there's amputated limbs, there's teddy bear genitalia there's a lot of stuff going on here so let me just give you a, a quick quick brief or let me just tell you a little something unicorn wars follows a group of young teddy bear cadets trained in military camp to become the next battalion in the ever raging war against the unicorns now, the teddy bears everywhere will fight these unicorns and there's nothing more uh bloodthirsty than the unicorns apparently because they're just freaking trying to kill the teddy bears and the teddy bears try to kill the unicorns and go, you know, that's pretty much it. <laughs> now, if you watch this, it's definitely something that's psychedelic and weird and graphic. There's a one point in the trailer where a bear like rips a unicorn's head off and goes, ah, and then they're like chopping each other's heads off and there's brainwashed characters and there's a lot happening here. But everyone, all the teddy bears are told that they have to kill the unicorns in order to survive. They don't know why, but they have to. Anyways, I saw this trailer and I knew we had to talk about it because I'm like, this is fucking ridiculous. And uh, the animation is really cool. The style is great. Subtitled, which is fine because it's the content is hilarious and it's weird and it's it's just out there. You know, it's very graphic. It's super graphic. You watch trailers. I'll, I'll bet see. you that it's ultimately upsetting more than funny once you watch it's, the movie. It, yeah, probably. I could see that. I could definitely see it being upsetting. I don't know, like, and they showed them going through boot camp and the training. And then you think like, what the hell is happening? And then like, they're doing like the little hearts, like we love each other. And the next thing they're cutting people's heads off or unicorns heads off. And the unicorns are fucking brutal in this trailer. They're like, using their, their unicorn horn to like stab through people and shit. And they look vicious. Mm -hmm. They look super vicious. That's like, oh my God, Mike, you saw this trailer. Is this something that you would watch? Is this something that makes you excited? Do you think this is a good movie? Or are you like, please uh, say no to unicorns? You know, first off, Brian, I'm thinking of what your next wrestling persona is going to be. And when I see you say the unicorn and come, and come, and come raging with your horn, I think that you could yes. be donning a multicolored leotard and really, <laughs> really come. Unleash uh, the unicorn. Come after Ric Flair in the ring. Yeah, you've already got your, you've already got your bit set up. Uh, I mean, I, I actually do have some opinions about this. Like you're. You're right. the The animation looks terrific, um, and it's it's easy to just think of it as bizarre because it is, and just psychedelic because it is multicolored flash and craziness. Um, but then also, I'm wondering why is it that a project like this gets greenlit in 2023? And I think that there's probably a reason, and I think that that's probably because on one level or another, uh, people realize that it does resonate um and so when i think of things like oh okay you've got like super cuddly well presented like ideas like oh the unicorn that's the idea of perfection like oh teddy bears like that's the sweetness that we're trying to project contrast contrasted with like really serious graphic realities of something like war or life challenges or slavery or people being sent off to uh, uh, do the bidding of of uh, whatever organization that they've signed up to do the bidding of, like I, I don't know, maybe maybe it's the kind of thing that would have resonated at all times, but it seems like a very 2023 project to me. So I'm interested to see it, and I bet like by the end of it, more than thinking like, oh, this is a this is a novelty, like oh, this is funny, this is interesting, we'll be like. This is society. <laughs> it, yeah, yeah. We'll make, yes. who are the unicorns we'll and who are the teddy bears? Ourselves and the decisions that we're making yeah. every day. Yeah, and it's For also sure. a way of like just like making things a little bit lighthearted in a way of, but also showing some truth and right, some reality right, right. too. Yeah, in a way of like making you like you know you know kind of pull things down a little bit. I don't, but for me, I'm like. 
it looks good. So I'm it like, looks, I, I'm, it looks cool. I, I, like, I, I, I do want to watch line, it. You get, a, you get a crazy, you get a crazy anime with like unicorns shoving their horns through the through the, teddy bears the out of a teddy bear. Like yeah, that's just that's just great, great but, on a fun gut level, right? Yeah. I agree with you, yeah. Mike. There's got to be something more like in depth with these characters in this in this storyline. There's got to be something beyond. You know, beyond the teddy bears and unicorns, there's got to be some symbolism that's there that they're just I, not I saying. I don't know anything about this uh, Alberto Vasquez guy. Like, he's a yeah. comic book dude. Like, he's gotten some Goya awards, which I would imagine is a prestigious award, which I haven't seen. He was uh, working on uh, Poe and Lovecraft adaptations, so definitely we're working with a guy mm. that's got some, some, you know, at least some dark references floating around in his brain. layers there yeah <laughs> jake okay what do you think about this you saw the trailer do you think that this is something for you and charlie to watch <laughs> probably not <laughs> no he'll, have, does he'll it, have to just watch punisher with her does it yeah, i know right does, I'll it let perk watch your, it. <laughs> does it perk your interest at all yeah i agree with mike 100 percent on this where it's uh you know this extreme like ideologies buried deep inside of these things that present themselves as beautiful and wonderful and cuddly. You know, it's look at any large civilization, the characteristics are there, you know, throughout history. And I think it's a cool way to kind of tell that story and to show the, the violence that can be unleashed from something that doesn't appear that way on the outside. You know, it's like the inner problems coming out. Um, and I'm excited. I will not watch it with Charlie yet. Someday, <laughs> yeah, we'll click it on. But yeah, I can see that. I mean, it's it's yeah. it's quite a bit, and it's it's so gory. And that I mean, it's yeah. gonna probably gonna turn some people off. I mean, it comes out in March. It's come out this month. So I mean, there's you got a chance to watch this in pretty soon here. I think it's like March 10th. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if, if you if you want to see some teddy bears and some unicorns rage, this is your movie. It really is. Uh, yeah, I, I can't imagine it's for kids right now. I just don't think so. I, I am interested to see, like, watching it to see what else it's actually trying to depict. Like, be it a societal, like, you know, like, substance that's, like, we're talking about or some kind of, like, topic or something that that's happening in the news or something that's happening in our lives being 2023, maybe something we've gone through. There's got to be some kind of symbolism behind it. Because like there's just to make something like this up has to be like uh like Mike was saying there's you're making light of something and trying to like it's like the you know like look over here look over here it's like a magic trick in a way but it's also it, it, it makes it makes it a little bit more palatable like Jake was saying yeah right? yeah. yeah yeah so uh, I don't know I you know, watch it for yourself everybody out there just check out <laughs> the Unicorn Wars and you'll know what we're talking about because I'm just like Unicorn Wars let's go. Get them teddy bears. I'm cheering for the teddy bears. That's all I'm saying. Something you don't else. Even know who the teddy bears are yet? I'm cheering for them. I have no oh, idea. No. As that, that's that's a good point, Jake. You got to put that on the put that on the tally because <laughs> once we find out who the who the teddy I know, bears I'm very clear. I'll bring it up. Yeah. And Brian's yes. Brian, Nazis, all of a sudden, yeah, it, might, might be, yeah. it might be problematic looking back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Call you or, out. Or, or, or it could be, or or you could just be the freedom fighter that we always knew you were, Brian. I yeah. could be. You never mm -hmm. know. I could be. Just want everybody to be happy. Be happy. Watch some unicorns and some uh, <laughs> <laughs> watch watch the unicorns fart rainbows out their ass and then shoot blood through their antler horn thing through teddy bear's guts. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>